Hello, my name is Martin Kopetz and I work as a senior software quality engineer at Red Hat. I'm also the current PTL for OpenStack QA team and a chair of Interop Working Group. Today, I'm going to give you a brief overview of Interop efforts and give you an update about the things we have recently accomplished as well as what we are planning to focus on in the near future. Firstly, uh, let me briefly introduce the Interop Working Group. The IWG is a working group under the Open Infra Foundation Board of Directors. It helps the foundation to run trademark programs to promote interoperability between OpenStack deployments. Uh, in practice, it means that IWG sets base requirements by defining uh, capabilities, code, and must-pass tests for all OpenStack products. This definition uses community resources and involvement to drive interoperability by creating the minimum standards for products labeled as OpenStack. You may ask why interoperability? Why is it important? Uh, the IWG believes that ensuring interoperability across vendors, clouds is the only way uh, how we can make sure that applications can be run anywhere on any cloud provided by any provider. Vendor. Um, to achieve that goal, the IWG connects developers, users, and vendors together. IWG um, provides tooling to make running as well as visualizing the results of interoperability tests as easy as possible. For example, we provide a project called RefSec Client. Um, it makes running tests of a particular guideline easier. REST the client is basically a wrapper around Tempest, which is a framework used to validate OpenStack deployments across the whole community. REST the client also allows users to upload the results to the REST page, uh, which will be shown on the next slide. Another useful tool is REST. Uh, you can visit the REST page at revstack.openstack.org where you can find all the guidelines and any published test results. And this is a screenshot of the RevStack page. Obviously, we couldn't fit the whole content into this slide, so we see only the upper menu right now. We are under the guidelines tab, and below you would see uh, the capabilities and the tests which belong to this um, 202206 guideline for the OpenStack public platform program. By the way, this guideline is our most recent one. Moving on, um, here is a snip of the marketplace page where you can find whether a particular vendor is certified and with which guideline exactly. Um, based on the results published to the RevStack page, which you saw on the previous slide, this marketplace page is updated to reflect the latest compliance results of that particular vendor who obviously ran the interoperability tests and uploaded them to the RevStack. Um, here's the current list of the marketing programs we currently support. First three uh, are so-called core programs. The rest are, as we call them, add-on programs. Um, we call them add-ons because they, they test services which are optional in an OpenStack deployment. Interesting note, um, shared file system is the newest add-on program which was added in the Volobi cycle. Um, if you're wondering what kind of, uh, what projects are part of programs, of which programs, here's a list. Um, Nova, Keystone, Neutron, Glance, and Cinder belong to the compute program. Swift service belongs to the object storage one. Uh, then the add-ons where Manila service is a part of shared file system, designate service is DNS program, and it belongs to the orchestration program. In the current cycle, we would like to add two add-on programs, um, Octavia service as the load balancer program and Barbican service as the key manager program. This effort is still in progress. Um, maybe you're asking how a new guideline is defined. A draft of a new guideline is created based on API changes and customer usage feedback. Proposed guidelines are under Garrett just like any other OpenStack code and documentation. The guidelines are reviewed by each project and TC before they are merged. 
Based on the feedback, the final version of guidelines is submitted and reviewed by us, IWG, to make sure that the tooling, for example, like RevStack page, supports proposed guidelines, then by TC, Technical Committee, and OpenStack Foundation Marketplace Owner. Um, okay, let's summarize our latest updates. Now, we've recently released the 2022.06 guideline. Uh, we are working on adding two new programs, two new add-on programs, Load Balancer and Key Manager program. And we are also exploring a possibility of decreasing the number of guidelines releases from twice a year, every cycle cadence, to just one release per year, which would mean that we would release a guideline every second cycle. Um, we really appreciate your feedback. Um, at the following wiki page, you can find a questionnaire which will help us to understand your needs um, with regards to the interoperability testing. Based on the feedback, we can improve our tooling to suit uh, your needs better. Please, if you have time, uh, fill the questionnaire. It's, it, it will be really, really uh, appreciated. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for listening.